Hello and welcome back to Democracy 3. And uh, last time, well, we we had some uh, falling out with our people. Uh, they uh, didn't really like the alcohol tax, as it uh, would have seemed. <sighs> well, I guess there's uh, no nothing else to do besides uh, starting a new game. Okay. I'm again going to be playing as the United States of America because I s still live there surprisingly and uh, I I want to uh, want to do this so now we need to come up with a very uh, very good party name hmm. uh, the independent free hmm. no freedom 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 party yeah there we go and we can be against the un can I use a capital letter uncontrollables I don't know if that's how you actually would spell it but I don't care let's play okay so just like last time our GDP starts very low our health starts very low Crime starts very high, poverty is moderate, and unemployment is fairly high. Okay, so I'm going to assume that not everyone knows how to play this time around, so I'm going to do a little bit of explaining. So in the center here, uh, you can see has socialist, commuter, liberal, and these are just different uh, groups of people and this is how they feel about the current political situation. Um, everyone is just a generic thing, so if it doesn't specifically uh, target something like the labor laws don't specifically target anyone, but they would affect socialist capitalists and trade unionists. But something like the cigarette uh, tax, it's just a general thing that people don't like it being taxed and things like that. So that's what everyone is. It doesn't include everyone. It's a, it's just a, a generic name for a group. And this is your overall popularity, and in, you need this to be at least 50% uh, in order to uh, basically win re-election. Okay. So what these different. Uh, parts over here are these are the different policies you have taxation public service law and order transportation foreign policy welfare and the economy so in each of these they correspond to those now you can affect them and see how they affect different things if it uh, has a red arrow going away from it that means it decreases whatever that is so income tax decreases the how capitalists and wealthy and middle income view us but it increases because that is a green the uh, the opinion of socialists because of that the opinion socialists have on us because of that but it also hurts middle income earnings poor earnings and high earnings but it helps equality and how fast basically the arrow is moving and how many of those there are means how much it affects so if it's moving faster it affects it more if it move, is moving slower it affects it less and that applies to everything so maybe I can find something uh, crime is pretty high, so that might uh, be a good thing to check right here. Yes, 
it's a little hard to see, but the uh, green going to vigilante mobs is a lot faster than the others. There, that now you can see it a little better. And this is a fairly good demonstration of how it, things are being affected. Well, I think that covers the policies and stuff on the main screen. Oh, I guess I should say what the blue and red. Blue is basically just uh, information. It doesn't uh, have anything other than that. It can still affect things, but you can't be like, I'm going to make the environment better with a slide or anything like that. It just is the co collection of other things. So how this affects that and so on and so on and the output of that. Red means it is a major problem and that basically it's bad. These are also things you cannot affect just like the blue. You, you can affect it indirectly but you cannot just take a slider and move it to change it. Otherwise I'd be like, uncompetitive market? Nah, we don't have that. Okay, so now moving on to the top. On the top you have political power or capital, and then you have income, your expenditure, your deficit, and your debt. Right here is how much time you have in office. So I have 16 turns as it says and each turn represents three months. Here you have your security briefing and this tells you which groups are uh, membership and their threat. Um, these are the only groups that will actually assassinate you if you get on their bad side. All these groups will just uh, get upset. Over here you have some charts uh, about how people uh, think about you at the moment. So you can turn these off and on and it, like, I don't want to know about capitalist, conservative, motorist, or middle income so you can just turn those off if that's something you didn't care about. You can f uh, pull up a focus group which I believe there's either 50 or 100 people here and each one you can click and you can gain a quick uh, little do people like me or not. I don't think this is uh, very helpful. I generally like to go to the policies which show me overall what people agree and disagree with. So from what I understand of it, um, these are not how people believe in the uh, the policies. Uh, it is how they feel about the policies in their current state. So right now with, with creation and evolutionism, which is both systems are taught, neither one is happy. Uh, no, I don't, didn't change a thing. Because it's in the middle, neither uh, side is happy, so there's no one likes it because they're like, hey, I want my side, and that's not how it is. Um, no one likes the way uh, alcohol law is, so minimum age of 21. Or prisoner tagging, or very few like the property tax. So, but this is all in its current condition. So no, only 20% of people like the property tax in its current state. So if you changed it, this could go up or down. Probably this popularity would go down if you increased it. So right now, prisons are very well liked. No, no one's very upset about uh, having a uh, prison. <laughs> um, changes just tells you how much uh, something has increased or decreased or stayed the same and it will be more apparent once you uh, go on. Uh, your compass tells you just where you stand on your political compass so this will move around each turn and fi tell you where you are so this can kinda tell you what type of 
uh, government you favor if you play like you would uh, if you were in charge of a real government. Uh, yeah, so I think that covers everything in this. So now this is a uh, another chart to show income and expenditures and you can see how that breaks down. It starts with the highest and goes to the lowest. And this also gives you a very nice visual of it's like, okay, I'm spending quite a bit on military and, and I'm getting a lot from income tax, but I'm also getting a fair portion from borrowing, which isn't the best. And this will tell you how stuff, how uh, your debt and your uh, reserves if you are out of debt and actually making money as a government, which isn't a good thing either, but that's that's what it is. Income, expenditure, uh, global economy. Uh, global economy can be very relevant to pay attention to because if global economy is down, that generally means that your economy is also down, which means you'll probably be getting less income. So yeah, that, that's all stuff that you need to pay attention to. I'll probably be very uh, brisk about it and probably won't even bring it to others' attentions. Uh, these are the political ideas that you can uh, implement that aren't already on here, but you can add them onto here. So you can go into foreign policy, welfare, and these also still correspond with each of these uh, groupings. And it's really up to you what you want. If you want to be strictly, I, I, I ran for law and order and I'm, by golly, that's all I'm doing is law and order. Then you can do that. Uh, here you have achievements. I have not gotten them all. Uh, I've gotten a few, but uh, not all. Um, Populator, a uh, few. I thought I had gotten that one. Oh well. But yeah, there's a lot that I uh, have left to do and could still do yet. Okay, cabinet minister, ministers. Uh. I don't know why they're ministers, but I don't I don't know. But each of these tells you what what political uh, not political uh, what uh, group they prefer if they prefer uh, middle income earners or anything to that socialists, which basically whoops basically just says like if you affect those groups in a positive way then their loyalty will increase and if their loyalty increases then you gain more political capital and this is political capital per turn so from the foreign affairs minister I am earning 3.7 political capital each time I take a new turn and uh, you can see that there's actually a fairly wide variety of people to please with farmers, conservatives, socialists, liberals, um, environmentalists, trade unionists, state employees, patriots, and, and I think that was all of the different ones on he, on my cabinet. And not all of those are congruent, so some of them I, I'll please some of the time and others I'll displease some of the time. Options, not really that much here, can't do anything. Just control the sound, music, and master volume. And then you can always go back to the first page we started at, but since we started this turn, we can't do that, but next turn we will be able to, because we'll have gone through a quarter. Now, first things first, I don't like the deficit, as I said last time, and I really want to do something to change that. Um, I think that in increasing or well, decreasing unemployment is a very nice way of going about that. 
So I am going to try to do things that correlate with that. But another thing that we have is a lot of crime. And I think crime is uh, something that can really prevent uh, businesses from actually going into business. So I want to lower crime so that will allow more businesses to come into play and thus create more jobs. Um, so something like community policing will help with that and that will also help with racial tension and antisocial behavior and alcohol abuse. And I don't see uh, any downside to actually increasing this all the way besides the cost of 15 billion dollars but I think that's fine uh, I will read uh, the uh, policies unless I think they're fairly self-explanatory then I might uh, go a little fast working with the community rather than attempting to control it community policing encourages the police to better understand the needs of the local community especially in areas where ethnic minorities critics see this as an expensive waste of money which could be spent on more direct methods to cut crime so basically they're saying we should just have more police instead which I don't completely disagree with them I think more police would probably be beneficial so right here is police force and I will increase this this is also kinda nice because not though it's not very much it does decrease unemployment by another two percent another one percent one point two percent so that'll be nice and decreases crime which is all good I forget I think I can spend uh, down to like 13 is what I found out last time so I'm gonna do that and I had some bad math on like episode one of this that I, I just did not uh, calculate appropriately. My calculus teacher would be ashamed of me. Okay, so something else we can do is prisons. Uh, I know they're hugely popular and this may make them less popular, but I think extensive rehabilitation is the way to go here because it will reduce future crime though we will be spending more to fund this program it seems worth it if we're pre preventing crime and actually fixing the problem not just putting a band-aid on it and that takes me down to 14 there's I there's another uh, yes race no the policy race and discrimination act this just makes sense to me. I think this is kind of already in uh, American law, but I am going to go ahead and put it in again. So this re will reduce discrimination, reduce tension, or supposedly do reduce discrimination, and uh, will hopefully help reduce tension and make these groups happy, except conservatives, which I don't know why they're against this. Prevent citizens from discrimination against purely against them purely on the basis of race, i.e., racist employment practices, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Well, I may have doomed myself because that actually cost two. Um, debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law is proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. I, I went about this in episode one because I got the same, uh, same question pop up and again I, I still believe that the uh, collection agency isn't the company giving out the loan and that it they're just collecting and nobody forced them to buy 
you know, take out the loans and you shouldn't have taken out the loans if you knew that the that you're gonna have to pay ridiculously absorbent amounts of money on it so I am going to allow these money uh, these companies to operate and get their money back actually okay so what this quarter report is telling us that nothing's changed up here the uh, economic uh, forecast is uh, there it's doing well <laughs> looks like there's gonna be some some improvement uh, the budget report we're still uh, a B which the greater we get this the more uh, GDP we tend to get which is a good thing right now we're not ranking very high in the polls but we're better than before we're at 29 percent so we're halfway there to being reelected and that looks like it Cab cabinet still loyal so they're trustworthy oh and it looks like we have enough for what I want to do so I think the carbon tax is pretty nice in this mainly because of how much money you can get out of it so I am going to implement the carbon tax a tax a carbon tax is levied to on all emissions of carbon dioxide though to the main cause of thought to be the main cause of climate change the tax is effectively a pollution tax and a way to make those individuals and industries who contribute to climate change pay for the damage they cause or to reduce emissions obviously the tax is popular with environmentalists and can lead to some more energy efficient economy now I have to assume that the everyday person is also being taxed because as everyone knows or maybe not we all breathe out carbon dioxide we breathe in oxygen and other gases and breathe out carbon dioxide so this is I think technically a tax on people as well I'm going to put this at 42 percent this gives us 400 billion dollars a quarter which I think will be very helpful I think we have something of a hundred and eighty billion dollar deficit so this gives us two hundred and twenty billion dollars to work with oh deficit went up a little bit so we actually have uh, 180 billion to work with which is also nice so as I was saying uh, this actually shows right now what uh, has changed uh, in their opinions so from what we did on turn one liberals now like us more because of it same with ethnic minorities and conservatives so we now have zero political capital which basically means we can do nothing unless we wanted to look at some charts okay <laughs> we looked at some charts <laughs> okay ban six same-sex marriage I think people already have this their opinions on this mine is to allow it I think it doesn't interfere with me so I, I'm not gonna force my beliefs on what marriage are onto others okay okay we have 26 points and I think this is probably going to be the last turn I take because we are already at 24 minutes so I think I'm going to go into some law and order again I think uh, these uh, private prisons are uh, pretty shady earning money based on the number of prisoners that they get so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this policy I mean, we already have a huge prison program um, I think legal aid is very important which I think is this yes legal aid uh, lawyers are not cheap and it is getting to be a very uh, very demanding process with uh, and with most lawyers 
for the public well, public use being uh, fairly bad, I think, or perceived as fairly bad, I think this is important because it allows for more equality in the courtroom. Um, I think it's also, well, I don't even know why this is so heavily liked. The right to be tried by ordinary members of the public rather than a judge is seen as the fundamental human right by many liberals. Conservatives argue that such a uh, process is expensive, time-wasting, and is no fairer than a judge or group of magistrates. It's entirely possible to have a system where a jury is reserved for more serious offenses, with minor trials presided over by a magistrate. I think it is generally easier just to say have the judge decide, but the liberals are really down with us, and I don't see this as being a major problem. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at universal. I don't know if this would mean that we would completely get rid of the the judge or magistrate or group of magistrates, but I I would think that we'd keep both and just have the jury as a decision in addition to the judge. Okay, we have eight points left. Let's see what we can do with policies. Um, I'm not really wanting to do any welfare stuff quite yet, but I may if there's not much else. Uh, fuels, uh, not fuel standards, uh, telecommuting initiative, working from home is basically what it is. It's subsidizing working from home. So I'm going to implement this. It makes parents happy. Uh, trade unionists like it, commuters like it because they don't have to go anywhere anymore. They can stay at home. And it overall lowers car emission, so it doesn't hurt the roads as much, which is also nice. We uh, don't have the uh, best infrastructure in the United States with the roads being filled with potholes. There's six left. Um, I'm going to see if there's actually anything that we can do. Uh, parents were our lowest is why I hovered over there, so I was wondering if anything I could change for that. We have a hundred and ninety four billion surplus. Can I do anything with corporation tax? Lower it so that we can get more jobs? No. Technology grants, space program, small business grants. Again, more, more employees. And this even encourages self-employed, which I think is even better. So, yeah, I'm going to go with this. And that looks like the end for this episode. If you liked what you saw, please like, favorite, subscribe. And if you have any comments of how I may be able to change how I play and increase my effectiveness, I am uh, very happy to read them and take your advice. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.